What you are about to watch is the documentation of an entire life. An individual with a randomly assigned name and identity was placed into a geometric survival simulation, his motor abilities translated through a keyboard and mouse interface. The events and lives that preceded this one are not in focus, nor future events which, from this perspective, would never happen nor hold any bearing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is One Life Only. The name generated from BehindTheName.com slash random is chosen from ancient classical Greek time period that I'm particularly unfamiliar with. The name Theobald Hesioid. Theobald. I'll probably never say the second name again. His backstory. I'll generate an unfortunate description. He's daring, quiet, and gloomy. This isn't surprising considering for someone with his tormented past. This is a vague representation of Theobald. He'll have one life to survive on the quite tumultuous battlefield of Planetside 2. There are two caveats. One, if I am fortunate enough to be healed by a medic after dying, I will accept his or her revive. And two, I cannot redeploy to escape combat, seeing as when a player redeploys, he also very apparently and visually dies. Because he is paid as a help for hire, Theobald is going to join the new conglomerate, which is a is, has similar principles. Hesioid. 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 I'm not going to say it again. And skip tutorial. And let's see how he does. Let's start the warp gate. As you should. As any good adventure starts. Uh, let's see. Support class. I infantry damage. High mobility and specialization. It's gonna be a medic. I think it's always a medic if you select support. And we'll deal with it. Carnage and experience boost. Let's go ahead and equip that. Start with no certifications. A pretty low medic tool. Medic and let's install that boost to get experience points boost. All right, the warp gate. Hey, how's it going? Hello. How you doing this evening? Happy Easter. You too. Oh, he's gone. Okay. that commando muff my freedom okay I'm gonna start a timer an eight minute timer upon entering bow oh. Those brand new reavers are something to be toiled with. A challenge, indeed. Eight minute timer when I enter the combat zone. Because it's not really a challenge to survive when there's nobody who can hurt you and you can't be hurt. It's not really living if there's no threat of dying. Got the timer ready. Right now I'm flying over and on my way to let's see my target, Broken Vale Garrison. Almost into some trees. We're on Hassan today, this evening. And we're going to just kind of prowl for unfortunate souls who are wandering about on the ground. I'm not, I'm not going to try to 
go into crazy amounts of combat. Seems like enough here. Let's start the timer now. Let's see what we can do. There's no as, as, uh, eject. There's no ejection seat in this reefer. So if it gets damaged, I'm going to have to bail. Which is going to be pretty soon. Okay. Now I guess I'll be a medic. I'm a very low level medic, so the medic tool will not be nearly as effective as it needs to be to actually help out considerably, but there's only one way to get it upgraded, and that's to keep using it. I mean, I guess the one way is to spend certs upgrading it. But I don't have any yet, because I haven't done anything. Alright. There's some friendlies. How about... And... There's <laughs> that tumultuous battlefield I'm talking about. Shoot. Oh. Somebody I can help. We got him already. Okay, well. It's all chaotic right here. Whoa. And uh, we took the space just now. Broken Bale Garrison. My new order is hard to attack Akon's southern labs, but I'm gonna take that in a second as well. So I'm gonna get in this Sunder if it'll stop. Just wait for the next one. <laughs> Theobald. He's actually doing all right. Um, I could get out and help the sausage queen real quick. Could mean death. Though. Come on! There we go. guy. Now oh, he's gone. Okay, the Sunderer is moving into our target. He's got three minutes on the countdown timer before that base gets reduced to neutral, at which point we'll begin to take it back and turn it into a new conglomerate base rather than a TR base, which it is right now. And while we're on our way, I think it's time for an episode of Planet Space Coffee. There are free people and they work in space. Girl, let it roll out of the work in space. And they work making coffee, but they never made coffee. But they never really work because they made it in the back. And they're not playing games and they're down in the back. Don't talk about the bag because they won't give it back. These are not all people that are not good people that are not making coffee. Planet Space Coffee. I could be a hacker too. A hacker? I don't you know sit the, at a computer? I don't know what the hacker does. Do you want to see it? No. Let's do it. Let's hack. Okay. Become hacker. So I can look at all the security cameras. There's a guy. Hack camera? You're now, like missing the guys doing stuff. What do you mean? You're being a horrible hacker. No, I'm being a good hacker. Dude, you should dude, be dude. like, hey, they're zip lining from the here? building right now. Software upgrade. Like, <laughs> upgrade the software. I'm, I'm updating the firmware. <laughs> <laughs> There's a security patch. Download, download, download. Got, I got you guys the new version of iTunes. <laughs> Engage camera. Hack gas system. Hack the gas system. <laughs>
Now what? Did it work? I don't know. I don't know what a gas system looks like this when it's is, hacked. I bet this is exactly what being a hacker is like. <laughs> oh, look, I overclocked the yeah. gas system. That's what, look at it, it's so overclocked. Oh, oh that's going to just really clog up the works. Oh, uh, I can look at, there we go. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Cool. <laughs> look at that that air conditioning unit. How about this gas system over here? Watching the guys get away. <laughs> it looks pretty hacked to me. <laughs> oh, is that gas system Hack appropriately gas clocked? System. I don't think so. I think it's overclocked. <laughs> and you can't underclock it back, bud. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. There's no underclock. It's not an option. <laughs> This episode is brought to you by Planet Space Coffee, the first coffee institution to put a store on the moon. Oh, 40 seconds till the space becomes ours. Sounds really close. Ugh. Keep up on me. It's a free life. Oh, we took the base too. Let's get everybody back up. Watching out for unfriendlies. No way I can get up to that guy. Supply. I gotta get back in one of these thunderers. <laughs> Maybe not this one. Oh, come on. Not this max. Back in the eleventh seat. Oh, I kicked out. Um, but it actually looks like I made it the first eight minutes, which is uh, pretty impressive. <laughs> Glad he survived this far. We have one kill, uh, eight certs gained. Uh, 1925 experience points gained. Um, battle rank three. I'm going ahead and set that. Um, make sure everybody knows. Theobald here got to the rank of uh, was it? Is it cadet? Probably could add, right? Um, no, we'll just do could add, whatever. Seems important. And yeah, survive the day. I don't know what's gonna happen next time, but Theobald is conserving his life. And I uh, had a pretty good time. I'll be spending certification points uh, developing the medic tool. Uh, the next two that I get, I'll get to upgrade it to level two. And eventually, the, the big problem with a low level medic tool is that when you revive somebody, it brings them up at half health instead of at full health, which is ideal. Because additionally, their shields will be empty as well. So they're an incredibly vulnerable target in a place that obviously had a lot of gunfire recently. Um, but yeah, uh, this is a safe place. For me to log out. This has been One Life Only. I'm your host, Gold Vision, and don't forget to say.